Coming off of Banner 2020, as well as an 18-day holiday production hiatus, Tesla is looking to shake up its automotive lineup with newly updated and streamlined designs to both the Model S and Model X. The company made the announcement last week during its Q4 2020 earnings call and expects both updated models to hit its digital show floors in the first quarter of 2021. What looks suspiciously like a prototype Model S Plaid edition was recently caught roaming the streets of Palo Alto, sporting some aggressive body stylings, including a more flared haunches and a streamlined hood design. However, the most notable addition to the driving experience is the lack of steering components. More specifically, it would appear that Tesla has almost completely eliminated the steering stock, the thing that turn signals and sometimes the gear shift are mounted upon, while the steering wheel itself has been replaced with a Star Trek shuttle-style yoke setup. Tesla's previous design utilized a stock gear shift produced by Mercedes-Benz. In order to switch gears, it required the driver to physically press a lever between the drive and reverse positions with a park button located at the end of the stock. While most modern automatic gear shifts are already electric and don't physically manipulate the gearbox, they still provide a knob to twist or a switch to flick or a button to push, you know, to let the driver know that they've actually activated the feature. But that's no longer the case, according to Tesla CEO Elon Musk, as he announced on Twitter last Wednesday. He wrote, no more stocks, car guesses drive direction based on what obstacles it sees, context, and nav map. You can override on touchscreen. The vehicle would effectively, at least as Musk describes it, decide on its own whether it should be in park, drive, or reverse based on the surrounding traffic environment. How well the driver assist system will accurately guess has not been demonstrated yet, though we have seen what happens when it guesses wrong, and the results can be deadly. Musk did not immediately elaborate on how much control beyond the touchscreen drivers would have, notable given that certain year S and X models have recently seen a number of failures in their infotainment systems caused by faulty eMMC cards resulting in blanked, inoperable console screens. Tesla, however, appears to be in the clear, legally speaking. As Autoblog recently reported, a look at federal regulations about gear shifters didn't turn up any specific code or rule that would bar Tesla from selling cars with such a shifter design. In addition to a larger horizontal touchscreen on the front dashboard, the new redesign has added a secondary screen in between the front seats for the benefit of the rear passengers. Both screens run off an entertainment system with 10 teraflops of power, according to Tesla, which should be plenty for both front and rear passengers to enjoy a relaxing game of Witcher 3 while stuck in traffic along the Bayshore Freeway. The company also revealed more details about the upcoming Plaid additions to the Model S and X. Tesla still expects the 139,100 horsepower Model S Plaid Plus to arrive in late 2021 with a top speed of 200 miles an hour, a sub 2 second 0 to 60, and an estimated single charge range of 520 miles. The Model S Long Range, on the other hand, will be available in March with a range of 412 miles, while the base Plaid model will target a range of 390 miles and offer 1,020 horsepower. You can order the new Model S and Model X through Tesla's website now, with deliveries scheduled to begin in April.